Hey, it's Randy from UC Status. Welcome to another episode of Ditch the Box. Today I'm going to show you the new Yealink A20 uh, Collab Bar or Microsoft Teams Rooms running on Android. It's freshly certified by Microsoft, so let's take a look. Now, first off, if we hold this up for scale, you can see it's about two feet wide, so it's a pretty good sized uh, Collab Bar type experience. Like so many other vendors, Yealink have decided to go for this textured cloth on the outside. You can see down here it's got the Yealink logo and an infrared uh, remote sensor for the included VCR20 remote control. So on the remote itself, we'll go through the buttons. You can see it's got volume up and down. It's got a back button and then a mute button. In the middle, it's got a Teams button. So this will automatically join a meeting when you press it. Above that, it's got the D-pad. And in the middle, it's got a scroll wheel with a selection kind of um, button. It's also got the answer and end keys at the top. So on the front here, you can see it's got an electronic lens cap that automatically shuts when it's not in use. If I just ease this open a little bit here, but you can see there, it's got um, quite a big iris, um, big kind of glass uh, domed iris on top. Really good camera. It's the same 20 megapixel camera from the UVC 40. It just happens to run. In fact, it's the same kind of form factor, really, uh, apart from a few bits and pieces on the back in the ports, which I'll show you when I swing it around. Uh, but it's the same device. It just happens to have a little hard drive kind of PC area for running Android. If we're swinging around the side. You can see it's got a security slot there for one of those security cables and a USB 2 port for connecting to a keyboard or, for instance, a touchscreen. Now, if we look around the back, you can see all the ports for connectivity here. On the far left is a reset hole for, uh, for uh, doing a pin reset of the device. Uh, to the right of that, you have actually a power socket. Uh, one thing to mention about the, uh, the A20 is that it doesn't support PoE like its little baby brother, the VT210. Uh, to the right of the power socket is one of the HDMI inputs. And on the far right, you can see a second HDMI input. So the new Collab Bar experience will actually shortly support dual screens or dual in-room displays. In the middle there, the black port there, it's called the VCH port. It's a proprietary Yealink technology. It just uses Cat5 for connecting to external peripherals. In this case, the external peripheral will be a, a sharing or content ingest device. I think it's called the VCH51. And then to the right of that VCH port, it's actually uh, just a, an RJ45 you know, gigabit ethernet slot. Again, it doesn't support PoE like the baby brother. Right, so if I take you through the Yealink marketing page for the A20, you can see it's got a nice little marketing image here. Uh, kind of shows you the, uh, the textured cloth, the USB port there, and the giant camera. Um, you see it says uh, Smart Teams Collaboration. It tells you about the field of view, etc. If we scroll back down, you can see the kind of sized room that they've pitched it at. You can see there, just there, you've got the little touchscreen that comes with it as well. Um, you can see it's got about six chairs in the room. I think it'll scale a bit bigger than that. Uh, it comes in two variants, just the uh, the A20 bar itself, but also the A A20 with the CTP18. Um, you can see it's got about six chairs in the room. I think it'll scale a bit bigger than that. Uh, it comes in two variants, just the uh, the A20 bar itself, but also the A A20 with the CTP18. Then if we scroll down to take you through some of the features, it's got the whiteboard support there so you can actually draw when you're in a Teams meeting. Uh, dual screen support so you can actually have, if I just hover over this, you can see it's got dual screen support so you can have video on one side and content on the other. That electronic privacy shutter for when you're in a meeting so it's going to be open and you'll know that you're fully engaged. And when you're out of the meeting, it'll be shut with that little cross on the front of it um, so you know that you're in privacy. It's got a Qualcomm SD845 chipset, which means it's nice and quick. It runs Android 9 effortlessly, and it hasn't missed a beat when joining and navigating around Teams meetings. You can see here it's got that CTP18 uh, touchscreen controller and a sneak peek, 
and a sneak preview of what the new experience will look like. It will be very similar, as you can see, to the standard MTR touchscreen experience. So here we've got the, the content sharing. So through the use of the VCH51 that connects to that VCH port that I showed you on the back, you can have wired content sharing. It's a USB-C cable with um, a dongle on the end to convert that into HDMI. With the magic of the, um, the WPP20, it also adds uh, wireless content sharing. Um, again, that's not in firmware just yet, but that'll be supported in the future. And as you can see, you've got Sandia there who uh, demonstrated this device at Ignite. It was quite a good session and it showed you the full um, touchscreen experience, etc. And then if we park down here, you can see the stats. So Android 9, as I said, the 20 megapixel camera with 133 degree field of view, eight times electronic PTZ with that electronic privacy sensor. So a really good camera array uh, to suit most sized rooms. It's got intelligent features such as um, auto framing and speaker tracking that will actually basically crop that 4K image down um, and zoom in on the participants as they're needed. The audio array is fantastic. So as I said, I use it in quite a large space. Um, it actually picked up uh, a whisper at about six meters away. I wouldn't suggest you do that in your meeting room, but you know, just, just goes to show you what's possible. It's got that um, five watt high fidelity speaker. It doesn't sound like a lot, but it do definitely does, take it from me, it definitely does uh, fill a room. Uh, it's got the Yealink noise proof technology that gives you that, that kind of barrier around where it will actually pick up. And again, full duplex and echo cancellation. On the meeting features, it's pretty standard uh, Microsoft Teams rooms on Android. I'm not gonna go through all of those. Uh, you've seen the experience uh, enough times. I don't need to run that through you. In the package, you've got the actual meeting bar and all the cables that you need. Uh, you get the mounting bracket, which I showed you in another video, uh, the power adapter and a quick start guide. Optionally, it also comes with the VCR20. I believe that actually comes in the box. Uh, it would be uh, pretty much useless if it didn't come with the box, uh, but you can buy the CTP18 touch panel as an option as well. I think you can buy a bundle with one or the other. Uh, optionally, you can also add that VCH51 content sharing adapter. Um, it's, it's optional right now because it isn't actually supported in the firmware. It will be shortly. And then if we scroll down, you've got some resources. You know, you've got the A20 flyer and a link for the data sheet that gives you some more stats about uh, what's actually included. As you can see, you've got a full list here of all of the uh, specifications that you'll ever need. And that's it. That's my little review of the A20 meeting bar from Yealink. It's freshly certified by Microsoft, and I think it's a great successor to the VC210 uh, Collab bar. It's more for a, a kind of a fixed meeting room. Um, it'll scale up, I think, beyond well beyond what Yealink say it will, um, thanks to the support for uh, dual screen, uh, the touch screen on the table, and of course, the inbuilt microphone array. Thanks for joining me for another episode of Digital Box, and I'll see you next time.